Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my video on puck control. Today we're gonna to start with how to control the puck, how to hit it and make sure you get it back to your side, and how to make sure that you can control the match and the speed of play. Let's get started. So to start, we're gonna talk about how to control the puck. When you're controlling the puck on your side of the table, the best way to practice this is to do some sort of drift or just hit the puck to the side of the walls like this. When you do this, you're really getting your fingers used to the feeling of just having the puck on your side. And then when you're in the match, you'll be able to set up shots better and just perform at a better level. You also want to hold the mallet with a little bit more of a loose finger grip so that you're, you'll be able to absorb the puck whenever it comes and hits you. So when talking about how to keep the puck on your side of the table, you really need to practice your off goals. For example, if you're in the middle of a match and you accidentally hit it against the off goal, you have to be ready to catch the puck when it comes back to your side of the table. So here I'm going to demonstrate how I would practice shooting the off goals with a cross straight, the cut, the right wall under, the right wall over, the left wall under, and the left wall over. Here we go. Cross straight. Cut. Right wall under. Right wall over. Left wall under. Left wall over. When you practice these, you'll really be ready to catch the puck if you miss any of your shots in the middle of an intense match. So now we're going to talk about how to control the speed of the puck during the match. This is really important because if you're in a match and someone is going really fast and just rolling over you, a good way to get the puck back in your control is to slow down the game and control the speed. So for example, a good way to do this is to keep the puck on your side for the full amount of time, which is 7 seconds, and then shoot an off goal that you know is going to come back to you and you'll be ready to catch it. This will extend the time that you have to shoot the puck and it will extend the time that you have to plan for each of your shots so that you can perfectly designate which one you want to score with. So here I'll show you what I would do during, the, during a match if I wanted to slow it down and really plan my next shot. There are many examples of master level players that use this strategy in order to move their opponents and get them to flinch in a certain direction in order to score a specific shot. Thank you for watching this video on how to control the puck. If you like this video, leave a like and share with your friends and comment what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Thanks a lot and play puck.